from there, like I said, man, I thought in that second half, the, the starting field position was a lot better. They played way better on first down, and you could just see the offense start to click. And then from there, that's how you get those type of points like that. And, and I thought that that was great by the offense and, more importantly, by Ben. Because it was on Ben in terms of saying that, all right, look, you would see him directing traffic, giving a route to each receiver. Even when they had to call a timeout, they still were coming back to it. And that's the veteran leadership. That's what separates the Steelers from other teams in terms of having a guy like that who can say, all right, the running game isn't working the way we wanted to work. All right, this pass isn't working the way we wanted to work. All right, let's switch to this right here. Let's get this tempo going up a little bit. It's certain things that you have a feel for. And a coach can't have it because a coach isn't on the field. He's not going to feel it in the moment. You have to have a guy like Ben. And then from there, you just see the trust. Coaching staff trusting Ben in that regard. Players coaching uh, trusting Ben in that regard. Because when you play all that empty stuff, it's essentially playing 11 on 11, man on man. Because now the offensive line, they're one on one. You don't have that running back in there to protect you. For the receivers, hey, you got to win now because, hey, if they bring any type of pressure, they're, we're going to be short a guy. You got to make sure you're executing. So the trust that Ben has to have in those guys and vice versa all goes up. So that's why, to me, I was like, that's the thing that I love so much. And that's what you get with Seven out there. Because of his respect, because of his playmaking ability throughout his career, you trust him in those moments. And that was the biggest difference to me when we're talking about our offense in the second half, man. 